What's up guys and welcome back to another Fortnite video and today we're starting our first video of Season 2 Chapter 3 or Chapter 2 Season 3 excuse me and I'm just going to be going through talking about the changes got some games in the background here Ex excuse my potato wing there on that one he steals my kill I come down and kill this guy I'm at the authority this is one of the four new um, POIs in the game and that's what we're going to begin talking with is the new POIs and here I'll just point out um, at the agency, you can now get the drum gun. You already could, but now you can get the grappler there too. So that's big. Um, and the grappler has changes to it. It can shoot out and attach to three times further the distance as the previous one, and it now uh, provides you with a redeploy after. So there's no, you know, grapple up and pump in the face, kind of something unfair like that, where it doesn't matter how good you build, you're going to get pumped in the face. So, you know, it takes that out of the game. But we'll start with the um, new four new POIs. Uh, the authority in the center takes over for the agency. The Fortilla, the Fortilla, um, is a new POI in the bottom left-hand corner that holds the mythic um, chug jug, the mythic chug jug, and the mythic burst, the mythic rechargeable chug jug. It's a chug jug that recharges as you hold it in your inventory, and then the burst, which we'll talk about changes to the burst. Rickety rig, um, which kind of takes the spot of um, Slurpy Swamps and then Caddy Corner which is up by like right in the bottom right hand corner by the Snowy Mountains and that holds the mythic items of the um, Kits Charge Shotgun and the uh, Shockwave Grenade Launcher so that is those are the four new POIs there's a couple other like smaller areas in the map that have been changed but most of the map is underwater except the bottom right hand part of the map um all the big spots are still there. They're just somewhat covered in water. And that's pretty much it. Craggy Cliffs has been removed as a POI. No more Craggy Cliffs. Other ones that have been removed as um, POIs are Dirty Docks and Risky Reels. And that's pretty much it for the map. Other than it's underwater and that there are whirlpools around the map that shoot you in the air like geysers back in Chapter 1. So that's new. Here you can see I'm going to uh, the caddy corner of this game. And that is that for the map. Uh, battle pass. I'm going to skip through the battle pass. I, I really could care less to be honest with you guys. I'm really honestly not even going to play that much this season. I don't play Fortnite that often. I really don't. I don't find it very fun. But So I'm not going to go over that. Sharks are a new way to travel around the map. There's a lot of new mobility that was added. Sharks are one way. You can uh, travel around the map with those. Boats are still in the game. Bikes have been added, but we cannot travel on them yet. We will be able to. Don't know anything about those yet. Like I said, the whirlpools and then the shockwave grenade launcher. So a lot of new mobility ways to move around the map. It's nice. Launch pads still in the game. Um, so that is nice. Cl crash pads are still in the game. So it's beautiful. Um... Marauders are new NPCs that roam the map and drop higher level gear when defeated. So these are pretty much like if you played again in Chapter 1. These are like zombies that were in retail row, except they're pretty much like uh, something you would drop out of a um, clone or whatever, a decoy. And there's a bunch of them. They come in pairs, and they're absolutely nasty. So you're going to have to step up your game to kill these guys. But they drop mats, they drop shields, and they drop really good guns. So they're kind of worth it to go around and kill these guys that are traveling around in bunches. They're just NPCs. They're going around and are absolutely disgusting at the game. But they're totally worth it. Um, again, with the, the guns, we're going to get into the guns now here. Uh, new guns. Let's get into the new guns. The charged shotgun, first one, that's the big one. It replaces the pump. A lot of people are mad about this. I'd say 95% of the community does not like this gun, and they are not happy with this gun, me included. I think you, there's, there's, there's a little learning curve to it. It's the first ever weapon in the game that's ever been shoot-on release. Every gun we've had has been a shoot-on trigger. This one is a shoot-on release, so you hold down R2... Well, actually, you know, we've had the Boombo, but, like, actual weapons. The Boombo was a shoot-on release. Um, but, we, like, actual weapon, as you can see there, I absolutely hate this gun. I sucked with it, but we got the kill because P90 is nasty. 
but it shoots out a release so you charge it up by holding r2 the more you hold it the more damage it's going to do so the more you hold down r2 to let it charge up the more damage it will do if you hit the guy um, and then you shoot it on release the mythic charge shotgun i believe can do up to 222 headshot damage that's the max that we've seen so far i'm pretty sure which is honestly pretty sad like this gun is not very good to use not very efficient you should probably bump the damage up it serves as kind of like a little bit better of a pump shoot like damage wise and the pump i'd rather use that but i mean again it comes in all colors um, gray up to gold and then there is a mythic like I said, but the the uh, pumps being out of the game It's it's big. I really think the tack shotguns gonna take over gold tacks are gonna be dirty um, And that's what everyone's gonna be using I feel like so Whatever this fight here. This is an, an annoying fight You'll see I get this guy down on 18 HP and he just shoots me down. It's so whatever though um, P90's been added into the game. They have a little reduced damage of uh, since last time not a big deal they're still really good weapons but without the pump in the game I feel like these don't have as much value uh, so don't don't be too mad about these hunting rifles back in the game all rarities from green up to gold and then uh, the gold and purple kind of look like combat shotguns so that's pretty cool shockwave grenade launcher is in the game chug splashes are back in the game obviously the chug jugs back in the game so good ways to heal now that's pretty good um, other than that, not many, not too many other big changes. Um, though that's really all I feel like I need to talk about. The burst only does, um, the burst shoots 20 shots now, and, I mean, it's, it's not as good. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.